Okie dokie, let's keep on skipping ahead. We're almost through the common route. So we'll see how much more we got with our boy Sam. Who am I gonna hang out with? Well, obviously the saxophones. It's pretty hot out. I see the saxophones are all taking a dip in the lake. They have the right idea. I rip off my shirt and shorts in one smooth motion, revealing my bathing suit underneath. Girl is prepared. Cannonball! I leap into the water with a splash. What a surprise. <laughs> He's like, girl, calm down. Cadence, quite an entrance. I notice Samuel sitting on the dock, looking relaxed. Hey, Samuel, what's everyone doing? We're organizing a game of chicken fights. Yeah? Well, what are you doing then? Vibin'. Vibin'. <laughs> Mood. I don't have a partner, so I'll just watch from the dog. No way! We gotta get in on this. I'll be your partner. Okay. Just don't hurt yourself. Hey, Samuel. Are you gonna play? Mm hmm Looks like it. Yes! Come fight Team Dong! Oh god, why do I have to fight against Team Dong? <laughs> I don't wanna! Anybody but that. The point of the game is to keep you on top of my shoulders while I try to knock Cadence off Sam's shoulders, right? Is that how that works? Yup! So who's to say I won't immediately throw you off my shoulders when the game begins? Peter! You better not! We'd lose! I don't know. Sounds like a victory to me. I will agree with this because it means I win. Samuel! Peter is being mean to me! N-M-P Not my problem. Good to know. Are we gonna play or not? Get ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Climb aboard. Let's hope the SS shrimp boat doesn't sink. <sighs> Peter, you suck! I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Brothers. Samuel takes off his shirt and goes to join the Dong brothers in the water. For some reason, I avert my eyes, suddenly feeling a bit shy. I will admit, shirtless Samuel was not on my bingo card. He offers me his arm and I climb onto his shoulders. They're strong and sturdy. I sway a little bit, getting used to the height. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. This is a fantastic CG. I love Samuel's grin. And his sunglasses matches my bathing suit, so it was meant to be. <laughs> and Peter's angry face matches uh, Alex's swim shorts, so there you go. Boss? Really, Alex? Really? I love how he's holding on to Peter's hair. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> like, it's a rain. That's great. Ready, Samuel? Ready. We face our opponents, Peter and Alex. They each have a matching spark of determination in their eyes. Hey, stop pulling on my hair, twerp. That hurts. Oh my god, Alex, <laughs> calm yourself. Her eyes are up there. Her eyes are up there. What are you muttering about? Nothing! Feeling okay, Alex. You look a little nervous. I'm not! I'm gonna win! Then it's time to put your money where your big mouth is. Square up! Ready, set, go! Samuel and Peter rush each other. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> yeah! As soon as we're within range, Alex attempts to shove me off, but I grab his hands in mine. We tussle on top while Samuel and Peter attempt to ram each other. Then Alex gives a great heave. Cadence! I'm okay! I barely manage to hold on. Just give up! Never! Better think of a different approach. Go on the run and make them chase us. Just keep wearing them down on the offensive or go on the defensive and plan a surprise attack. Hmm. I feel like Samuel, like Samuel, chill, he vibes, you know, he, he vibes in the back. It's always kind of on the defense. He doesn't like, he doesn't go on the run. He's not super aggressive. So I say let's, let's surprise attack these guys. I lean down to whisper in Samuel's ear. Back 
back it up. Let's get some momentum going. Cool. Roger. What? Are you retreating? Cowards! We back up on the defensive. Peter and Alex follow us, looking confident. Now! Samuel charges and I lunge, but it's too much momentum. I throw myself at Alex so hard I part from Samuel's shoulders. <gasps> Both Alex and I go tumbling into the water. The next thing I know, strong arms are picking me up and setting me on my feet. Kalos, are you alright? I think so. I cough up some water, blinking it from my eyes and struggling to see. Did we win? Damn. You trying to drown my brother in the lake? Well, I guess I can't blame you. Rematch? You're crazy. No way! Cadence is a psycho! I don't want to die! Don't be a wimp, shrimp. I'm not a wimp! Or a shrimp! I laugh. <laughs> Samuel? Want to give it another go? Okay, but be more careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Gee, what's he so worried about? He's worried about you. I climb back up and we resume chicken fighting. With some practice, we become the best team in the lake. No one can stand up to us. Nice, as it should be. As it was written. All right, uh, do I wanna go dance? Okay, I don't wanna do sports cause that's Peter and Doug. So one of these. Have we done either of these yet? I feel like we haven't. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make a save, because my memory is like a goldfish, and I'll do dancing, and we'll see where that takes us first. Yes, let's dance! While well, we're still friends. Ooh, I hear some jazzy tunes. That seems promising. We head to the pavilion. The music in the crowd gets us so excited we can't help but quicken our steps. Colorful flashing lights have been set up and tables clear to make a giant dance floor. I can hear smooth, soul-soothing jazz. Standing on top of a makeshift stage is... There's my boy! Samuel? Samuel is playing his saxophone for everyone, and they're loving every second of it. Garth accompanies on piano. They must have dragged it out of the commons. Isn't he amazing? Wow, look at him go! I am. I'm entranced. In everyday life, Samuel is quiet and kind of an enigma. But when he plays the saxophone, it's like he's burying his heart and soul. You see him in a whole new light. Susie and I watch him until the end of the song. When finished, he steps off stage to let Garth take a solo. Garth would take a solo. Why don't you go compliment him? Sh sure. Hey, Samuel. That was great. Wanna dance? Uh, that was... Oh, sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks. Huh? <laughs> that was my reaction. The um, I, um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of, of course. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's dance. He offers his hand and I take it. It's so smooth. Much like Samuel. Samuel leads me out to the dance floor, then turns to face me. My face feels really hot. Where should I put my hands? Around his neck? At his waist? Or should I just keep holding his? Ah, I have no idea. Panic! Relax. Ah, uh, okay. S sorry. Don't apologize. Just feel the music. I do as he says. Try not to think too hard, I let the music in. My hands wrap around his neck, and his hands touch my waist. Samuel takes the lead. He's so calm, so confident. Damn. I feel a little better now. At one point, I see Susie staring at me from over Eugene's shoulder as she dances with him. She offers me a thumbs up and an exaggerated wink. Okay, we're still in Susie's good graces for now. Oh great, I'm turning red all over again. Somehow I manage to not die of embarrassment as the night goes on. I dance many songs with Samuel, some fast, some slow. He seems to be enjoying himself. I've never seen him so lively. I like it. You know, if this night were to go on forever, I think I would be perfectly fine with that. Same. Can't complain. Too bad it doesn't. 
Eventually, the dance winds down and most people either go back to their room or sit down at one of the tables. Yo, Samuel. It's Peter. He's sitting with Tom. Tom looks wonderful. They've got a deck of cards between the two of them. Why don't you come play with us? We need more people. Cool. Sure. He looks at me. That is, if you would like to. Yeah, sure. It would be a nice break. Aw, he only wants to go if I want to go. How cute. We sit down at the table. You look tired, Tom. Thanks for noticing. So what game are we playing? Spoons. We put these three plastic spoons in the middle of the table and deal four cards to each player. You keep passing the cards along until you've got four of a kind, then you grab a spoon. As soon as one spoon is grabbed, that leaves it open for everyone else to grab one, even if they didn't manage to get four of a kind. The person who fails to grab a spoon is out. Interesting. Never heard of that game, but it sounds like fun. Oh, I played this. It's fun, but it can get pretty messy. Especially that one time where we didn't have spoons, so we used knives. Yeah, that could get pretty messy. Oh, and Samuel. What? Glasses off. <laughs> Fair enough. That will make reading his expression easier if need be. Good idea, Peter. There's his beautiful eyes. Samuel takes off his sunglasses and sets them on the table. Uh oh, his eyes. Those are some nice eyes. He wears those sunglasses so often that sometimes I forget what they look like. Anyways, Peter is the dealer. The cards cycle around in a circle. I try to move as quickly as I can, hoping that luck is on my side. I nearly have four of a kind when I look up and notice that two spoons are missing. Peter is still dealing cards, smiling demurely, but he's not even looking at them. Tom is using his cards to hide a wide grin on his face. Samuel realizes it at the same time I do, and both our hands strike out like lightning, reaching for the last spoon. Schmack. Our hands meet, holding each other with the spoon between them. <laughs> That's hilarious. We stare at each other while Peter and Tom laugh at our expense. Uh, slam his hand into the table and claim victory. Rude. Just keep staring at him. Something will work itself out. Let him have the spoon. It's only a game. Yeah, but if I just like keep staring at him, we'll continue to hold hands, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just stare at Samuel, biting my lip, hoping the situation will work itself out. I must have a really pathetic look on my face because Samuel sighs. You can have it. He lets go, letting me have the spoon. Aw. Are you sure? Doesn't matter. Yeah. I couldn't take your disappointment. Aw. Thank you. I clutch the spoon like it's made of gold. That was nice of him. He's so concerned about like her feelings and everything. My heart. <sighs> we play a couple more rounds, then it starts getting late. I let out a defeated sigh and slump onto the, sh onto the table. Tom copies me, yawning. I think it's about time for the babies. Should we carry them home? Hey! We are completely capable of walking. Yeah, but, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. I help clean up. Just about everyone has left by now. The music has stopped, too. <laughs> we sure danced a lot, didn't we? Yeah, it was fun. All that exercise will leave me with a good night's sleep. Hey, Peter, I didn't see you out there dancing with Felicity. <laughs> I didn't see you out there dancing with your imaginary girlfriend, either. Ouch. <laughs> Got him. That's enough, you two. I want to go to sleep. I'll walk you back. Let's go. See ya. Have a good night, Cadence. Thanks. I'm sure I will. I watch Samuel go down the hall, accompanied by Tom and Peter. Then I go inside. There you are! What happened to you at the party? Sorry, Susie. Something came up. She smirks, almost knowingly. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's fine. I expect her to press me for details, but surprisingly, she doesn't. Good night. I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to bed. Night. I get dressed quickly, brush my teeth, turn the lights off, and climb into bed. 
Pulling the blanket up to my chin, I close my eyes and think of Samuel. He's so talented. He can play saxophone. He can dance. But despite all of this, there's something about him that seems... sad? I don't know how to describe it. He throws himself into his music, but he doesn't throw himself into his relationships with quite the same fervor. He's always alone. A great distance seems to stretch between him and everyone else. Maybe I'm overanalyzing. But if I'm not, and I'm right, I wonder why that is. We shall investigate this matter more closely and pry where we shouldn't pry until we get answers. <laughs> Probably in classic Cadence fashion. I'm okay with this because I have questions I want to know too. Oh boy, I forgot how sick Tom was. Uh, yo, are we just... Okay, so we're just jumping straight into it. Hi, Samuel. I find Samuel having retreated to the end zone. It's nice and peaceful over here. You have the right idea. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Cadence. Yeah? Are you able to get a signal on your phone? No. I almost forgot! I wanted to call my mom. I pull out my phone and check it. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me! My phone has been useless as of late. Mm. Shoot. Mine too. Now I can't stream music. Yeah, and I can't call my mom to let her know how things are going. That too. I miss talking to my grandpa. Grandpa? Aw. This sucks. You'd think with that we wouldn't have this kind of trouble. He points to the huge radio tower at the edge of Camp Bearpaw. I guess it's old. Oh well, I can deal being without my phone for another week. Besides, my social life is right here all around me. Samuel sighs. <laughs> <sighs> I guess if you can deal with it, then I can too. That's the spirit. But the music. Music's important. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so, they're talking about the man auction. Are any of you boys going to volunteer? Mm. That depends. Are you going to bid? Not on you. I give him an innocent smile. Nah. I'm not doing it. Come on, Samuel. Get outside your comfort zone a bit, why don't you? Why do people always talk about getting outside your comfort zone like it's a good thing? How's it a good thing for me if I'm uncomfortable? What about you, Tom? <laughs> hmm, I'll think about it. <sighs> Don't tell me I'm going to be the only one up there tonight. Suck the suck. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna skip ahead a little bit. Because I think we sit with Samuel at the auction. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Wiley. Uh, I can't wait for you to just, you know, throw you everything on its head again. There we go. Oh, there's Samuel. I guess I'll hang out with him. Hi, Samuel. Is the seat taken? Nah. Not at all. I sit down. So, did you bring any money to bid? Maybe. <laughs> How much? Let's just say I'm not proud of myself. Smooth. I won't judge. Once everyone is situated, Susie steps up on stage and the show begins. Hello! Okay, we will skip ahead now. Bidding on Tom? Nope. We are going to pass on that. Um... I'm so sorry. I haven't done this before. So am I. Couldn't you have saved me? It's too late for that now, Tom. Don't worry. There will be no need to take me on the date you planned. In lieu of the date... I command you to hold a sectional with the trombones. What? You heard me. You had better wake up on Monday ready to work, Tom. No! I bet I can guess who's next. Just you wait. He put in a special request for... drama. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that could be. Nope. Yeah, I can, uh, I'll just, she can have him. Oh? What's changed now? 
Let's see who's next. Let's go! I'll tell you who's next! There's not nearly enough diversity in this competition! Oh my god, Wiley, you did not just say that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Poor Samuel. Oh my god, I can't believe this actually is happening. Samuel, why don't you get on up there and represent? Really? Huh? Um... Peter is half Vietnamese, you know. We know. Wiley already made the karate joke earlier. <laughs> why? why? Why is this a thing? Oh god, I hate everything. He's so white. Is he? <laughs> the only appropriate response. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> we needed that to break up the tension. Yeah, come on, Samuel. Do it for the band. Go, Samuel. <laughs> you got this, man. Who looks at Peter and is like, he's white? <laughs> Aaron, stop with the drum. With the entire band cheering him on, I imagine it's difficult for Samuel to say no. He reluctantly gets up and goes to stand awkwardly on the stage. Here he is, our mysterious leader of the saxophones. Who is the man behind the shades? Why does he wear sunglasses all the time? You may find out! Samuel, what date will you be offering tonight? Well, this is a bit spontaneous, so I haven't had time to plan anything. Okay, then off the top of your head, make an offer. I guess I'll cook you something nice. He cooks. Ooh, I like it. As usual, we'll start the bidding at five dollars. Six dollars! Alex, what is your obsession with Samuel? Really? <laughs> It'd be cool to have the section leader bowing down to me. He'll have to do whatever I say and lug around my bear sex case. What? Alex! That is incredibly insensitive and highly offensive. You are banned from the rest of the auction. Go to your room. <sighs> Wiley, you have no leg to stand on after the crap you pulled earlier. But Ugh. also you're right. <laughs> I didn't think about it in that way until you mentioned it, but now I'm like, hmm. Huh? But wait, I didn't mean it like... BANNED! GO TO YOUR ROOM! <laughs> I'd feel bad for you, but I don't. Uh... This event has been a disaster! I knew it! I just knew something like this would be problematic! I never should have allowed this thing to go on, but we desperately need the money! Alex leaves with his figurative tail between his legs. His mouth runs faster than his brain. Luckily or unluckily for Samuel, depending on how he feels about it, a number of interested girls start bidding and raising the price. Should I bid to win Samuel's date? Absolutely. Ten dollars! Samuel looks surprised while Susie hides a grin. Okay, going once. A few others call out bids. I struggle to keep up with them. Fifteen! The price goes up even further. Ugh! Should I keep going? Yes. Twenty! I sweep my gaze around the pavilion, glaring at my competitors. They hesitate. Twenty dollars must have been their cutoff point. Sold! Alright. Going once, going twice. Sold! Two cadence! Yes! I got to pay Susie and claim my prize. Congratulations, I guess. Thanks, I guess. We smile a little awkwardly, then head back to our seats. Back where we started, but there's an entirely new tension in the air. Are you glad you did it, Samuel? My body tenses as I anticipate his answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am now. Really? My heart gives a little leap at Samuel's response. I search for something to say, but no words come, so I content myself with sitting next to him, smiling quietly. Peter? Oh my gosh, 
Peter. Alex ran off crying. Yeah. So. So aren't you going to help your little brother? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I had no idea Felicity actually cared about Alex. Okay. I'll, I like that. <laughs> I like that out of you, Felicity. The auction goes for about a half hour more. Overall, it's a huge success. I wonder what Mr. Wiley thinks about all this. I kind of think he expressed his thoughts earlier. I try to catch a glimpse of his face, but it's hard to find him in this crowd. Hey. Hey! What's on your mind? Samuel doesn't answer for a long moment. Then, to my surprise, he removes his sunglasses and studies me closely. Should I be nervous? I was just wondering. Why did you bid on me? Oh, because... Because I wanted a free meal. That is awful. No. Because I like you, Samuel. But... Why? Honestly, what's not to like? I wanted to spend some time with you. I do my best to hold eye contact so he knows how sincere I am. I've never been this forward before, leading my cheeks to shine like a bright red tomato. At least Samuel seems appreciative of my honesty. You made my night. I gotta say, you made my night, Cadence. It's quite a confidence boost when a lady as pretty as yourself makes such a grand gesture. Wow, this guy in his way with words. Oh, th thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. We're gonna have a good day tomorrow. Look forward to it. You bet I will. See ya. I'm gonna head back to my room now. I'm pretty tired. Okay. Good night. I feel a little nervous. Should I not have done that? Uh-huh. Don't give me that look. Go hang out with your girlfriend that you should have broken up with, like, months ago. So you and Samuel, huh? Oh, Peter. Did you have fun? It was alright. I'm sure Samuel had the most fun of anyone, though. Wow, real subtle there. Really? Seemed to me he didn't enjoy being in the spotlight. <laughs> I'm sure he's over it by now. After all, he's got a date with the drum major. Is that a jealousy I detect in his tone, or is it my imagination? Yeah. Well, Peter shot himself in his own foot. I guess I should have known. Samuel's a pretty cool guy. And after what happened to him last spring, I think this would be good for him. What happened to him last spring? What do you mean? What happened last spring? Later. Never mind. I'm going to bed. Peter, you can't just drop little droplets of tea and then disappear into the night. <laughs> Cadence feels the same way. Peter, wait! He's gone. Who gave you the right to be so melodramatic? Right? Oh, hi. Cadence! Wah! Susie, you scared me. Woohoo! You were amazing! I can't believe you bet on Samuel! You've got guts, girl! <laughs> yeah, I surprised even myself. You have to tell me every single detail of your date tomorrow, okay? Okay, I will. Now, let's get to bed. I'm beat. I'm so excited for you! Sleep well, Cadence! You too, Susie. She's even more excited than I am. After brushing my teeth, I climb into bed, draw my blankets up to my chin, and close my eyes. And as I drift off towards sleep, I dimly realize that I haven't stopped smiling all night. 